Uh, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Larry, the pin bug guy, and welcome, and uh, it's uh, coffee time with me. So, I hope you have a cup of coffee. If not, go grab a cup of coffee, sit down, relax, take it slow, inhale, grab a pen, any pen, or your favorite pen. Of course, you got your cup of hot java. Grab your journal, whatever journal you feel like using. I have one, two. Oh, I got more uh, because I use them all, believe it or not. I got uh, two, three, four. And yes, I use every one for something. One day I'll learn how to use one journal and combine everything in it. But I wouldn't hold my breath. So, how is everybody doing this morning? It is 8.07 here in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, I thought I'd... And good morning, Tony. Having coffee, great. Ready for work. I will write a little later. Cool. Well, have fun at work today, brother. And remember, pins rock. All right. Uh, tomorrow, Sunday, I'm thinking about on the pin case talk. I may go live. If I do that, it'll probably be at the Casa. Not sure. I wanted to go elsewhere, but I'm still working on my live chats to, to get them down because they're different on the iPad than when you're using a computer. Uh, real quick on Brian Freelander, on the uh, the gentleman who has opened up the pen thing, he lives in Chester, New Jersey. And I called in, uh, the phone yesterday and placed an order and got to meet him and on the phone and, and get to know him and him get to know me. And uh, one of the uh, items I ordered was the Robert Oyster something cream. looks like a chocolate brown. But he said, hey, Larry, guess who I met today? And I said, Brian Goulet. He goes, no, I met Chris Rapid. I said, yeah. He said, the reviewer. I said, yeah, cool. He said, he saw the review and he lives in the same town I do and he came out and met me. Now, wasn't that cool? And I'm glad Chris went out there. So, and he said, let me look for your ink. And he said, Larry, I'm sorry, but Chris bought that last bottle. Oh, no, no. So I'm going to get some diamine brown chocolate, whatever. And then I order some more uh, field to field notes, the long ones. And I ordered uh, the uh, Rhodia dot pad. I've been using the uh, Rhodia line paper when I do my writing samples, uh, which I like. But I always have used the Rhodia dot paper, so maybe I'll go back to Rhodia dot paper. But my favorite letter paper when I write letters is uh, Tomo River paper. I really like that stuff. And, you know, 7C, anything to do with Tomo River paper. And here's a new one that I have right now. Um, it's the SN2 pad, the perfect paper for both smooth nibs and sharp nibs. It's a dot ruling, and uh, faint dots spread each 0.2 inch. It's a 5 by 5 by 8. So it's 5.5 by 8.5. And there it is. And uh, I think I have some stuff in here. Just some stuff that I've did some writing with. Testing the uh, nibs out and inks out. And, uh, and the paper does very well. Uh, a friend of mine bought this for me. And uh, I also, from time to time, will use that for letter writing. Uh, this book here, again, I've shown it before. 
It's the uh, Tomo River paper. And uh, I got that on the, you can go to, uh, is it the NAMI paper? And uh, the gentleman has, hello, Tony again. My favorite paper is Tommy River paper. Yes, NAMI. Yes, yes, Tony. Yes, we're on the same page link here. Focus, focus. You're so correct. But anyway, uh, anything to do with Tomo River paper, I'm in. I love it. Uh, if, I'm not sure about this one, but if Tomo River Paper came out with a dot grid, let me know. Because I would sure buy some and I would use that on my uh, writing sample. Favorite paper. That would be my favorite paper. Uh, I do like the uh, Rhodia. The Clairefontaine is okay, but it's really, really smooth. But it's okay. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I like the light paper. That's some pretty good stuff as well. Um, I use that occasionally. I have uh, quite a variety of different papers, but I ran out of Tomo River paper, God, a few days ago, and I've been using light paper. Now I'm almost out of that, so I had to call Anderson Pens a couple of days ago, and I ordered the Tomo River paper. Plus, I ordered not one, but several of the Private Reserve ebony colors. I got the ebony purple black, which I love, and uh, maybe five other ebony lines of uh, ink, and I got two uh, samples of that, and I think I got one of the noodlers, could have been a panchy or a black. It could have been one of the black inks, I think. And then I, I let uh, Dave choose my last ink to surprise me. So, uh, Anderson's got a good thing going on right now. If you uh, order 50 bucks or more, that's free shipping in the States only, which is pretty cool. Also, what I like about Anderson pens is that when you order your, your ink sample, you don't get two millimeters of ink, you get three millimeters of ink. So that's a, a big savings in my book. Uh, that's great. Uh, Anderson Pins doesn't pay me or give me anything to mention their names. And why do I mention their name all the time? You know, I, I've always liked Anderson Pins. Uh, they just, you know, when I when I actually met Lisa for that very first time two years ago at the Dallas Pin Show, just a sweet lady really nice. She's a good people person. And Brian, you know, he was busy that first time I met him, but friendly, nice as well. But really, and then I was ordering ever since, but really, what really, really helped me was two things. The customer service is outstanding. I, I think. And uh, I've done some ordering with Chris, great guy, nice guy. Chris is cool. He takes care of you. And Dave is the other person. Really nice guy. I've done most of my ordering with Dave. Dave's cool. Both are cool. They're all cool. They rock. And these guys take their time with you. They want to make sure you got your order straight and you get what you need. There's never any pressure you know, buy this, buy that. They're, they're always on the ball. So that's one factor that got me hooked on the hook. And what really clinched the Anderson deal with me is when I bought my first Mont Blanc. I, I called and Lisa and Brian happened to be at the desk at that time. And she was telling me a little bit about the questions I was asking about it. But she said, hold on, Larry. Brian's right here. Let me let you talk to him. He knows all about him. And Brian got the phone. And he answered all my 10, 20 questions. Because, you know, when you're buying a high-end pen, at least for me, I ask a whole bunch of questions. And uh, Brian took his time. He answered them carefully. 
make sure I understand, and he wanted me to make sure that I was getting what I want. So, and that's real important when, when you deal with anybody, is not to get what they want, it's to get what you want, because you're the one paying for it, and that's what Brian did, you know. So, if you've never used Brian or Lisa Anderson Pen Company, Maybe it's time to give them a call. I'm not knocking anybody else. They're all great. I've done business with a few others as well, and they're all great. There's nothing wrong with it, but everybody has their own thing. And I kind of spread the love around to as much as I can. But my goal is to buy one high-end pen a year. I'm going to try. And uh, I'm going to do this with Anderson Pen. So, so oh, anyway, that's uh, been what's going on with me. Oh, one last thing, well, two last things is that I am going to have a live chat tomorrow, Sunday. I'm thinking around 1 or 2 o'clock. So if you're not doing nothing and you want to hang out, come on. So grab yourself a beer or coffee or soda, tea, Kool-Aid you know, whiskey, whatever you drink, and kick back, and uh, let's have let's have a good time tomorrow. Let's just chat and uh, see where it leads to. Right now, you guys are guinea pigs because on this iPad, right now, the little icon that says chat viewing options, show live chat, well, it's on. And Tony's been, so far, the only one that's been on this early. So, and he's on his way to work. So, they used to fade out. So hopefully, that's fixed and it will stay on. But if you ever watch Mike Madison's uh, live chat on his computer, uh, all his messages are up on the screen, and he can read them as they come up. So, Mr. Announcer will be reading all the questions that are, have been asked or whoever comes on, uh, that would help a lot. So, okay, Halloween around the corner. Halloween giveaway. Trick or treat, smell my pen. Give me some good ink to drink. That's coming up. Then I'm going to be doing a Christmas giveaway. Then I'm going to be doing a New Year's giveaway. First time I ever do this, but this is my second year. Let's see. Yep, doing this. So, in fact, I'll start off 2018 with that New Year giveaway. That's cool. And uh, I'm I'm exploring several options. I could do it from my house. I can give away things that I have that are new, maybe a cool used pen, or new ones from Gin House, Preppies, Heroes, whatever, um, or I could do different other mysterious things, but I won't tell, because I'll give it away. I have ordered uh, quite a few of the uh, Gin House broad nibs in. Uh, also, Anybody out there that are, that is into fine nibs, uh, I have some Jin Hao fine nibs coming as, as well. And they're right pretty good. Uh, the uh, Jin Hao 599A comes, it's in a aluminum uh, body, metal body. And I really like those pens. I like that weight and feel. And I'm into black pens now. I, I have no idea. I'm just weird. But anyway, um, they come in fine nibs, and the plastic ones I'm hearing from the sellers are the ones that come in in medium nibs. So, learn something new all the time. So, if you're into fine nibs, let me know. Medium nibs, let me know, because I'm, like I said, ordering Gin House. And broad nibs, I've ordered about five of the broad nibs of the Gin House. I like them. Uh, they're not like your, your Western broad nib, but you know, they're, they're pretty cool. Uh, they're, they're a nice pen. So anyway, I thought I'd get on here, 
shout to everybody, let them know, hey, it's what, what time is it now? 821, Saturday morning, and uh, tomorrow, Sunday, either at uh, 1 or 2 o'clock, uh, if you're not doing nothing and you want to hang out with the pink bug guy, come on, let's do this, and let's just have a great time. What do you say? Are you in with me? I hope so. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get off. I'm going to finish my beautiful brew vanilla latte, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you and everyone. Stay safe. Later.